Every Thursday, we'll highlight important stories affecting consumers across the country. Tomorrow, the FDA will hold the first public hearing on a plan to legalize CBD in food and drinks. CBD comes from plants in the cannabis family, but unlike marijuana, it won't make you high. It's expected to be a $22 billion industry by 2022. Barry Peterson went to Denver to check out the buzz over CBD-infused coffee. <laughs> Barry, what exactly does it do? Well, depending on the amount, people say this CBD-infused coffee helps them feel calm or focused, but you probably won't be able to taste any difference. I'm going to do a, uh, a latte. It's usual for people to buy coffee at the Blue Sparrow, but this being Denver, the blend is unusual. It's infused with CBD. Can I get the CBD nitro? John McCaskill used to drink pots of coffee daily, but the CBD version eased his coffee craving. For me, it got rid of all the jitters. Isn't that what you drink coffee for? No, not the jitters, no. The best way I can describe it, it's kind of like taking off and then it just levels out. I had a chance to start a coffee business, but what I'm doing now is, is delivering you know, a better life to a lot of consumers. Andrew Amott is co-founder of Denver's Strava Coffee. This is our roastery. He started as a high-end coffee roaster, but competition forced him to be different. So he added in CBD, and often that's where the misconceptions start. So if, if I were to say to you, Andrew, oh, you're selling pot coffee. No. What do you say back to them? We're not selling pot coffee. We are selling a coffee that has been infused uh, with, with nutrients from a plant uh, that do not have a recreational purpose. They don't produce any kind of high or experience like that. It's confusing. Pot comes from the marijuana plant that's loaded with THC, the ingredient that creates a high. But CBD oil comes from the hemp plant, soon legal to grow across the U.S. It has trace amounts of THC, but usually too small to make anyone high. And lately, it seems like CBD is for sale everywhere, claiming to help with everything from soreness to stress. But that depends on how your body reacts. The raw cannabis acid. Says Martha so Montemayor a certified nutritional consultant. So the fad part of this CBD coffee, CBD donuts, CBD spritzers is good for you, not good for you, or nobody knows? Some people are definitely going to feel better. Some people are going to feel nothing. Back at Strava, this may be the closest thing to coffee heaven, the quality control tasting room. Strava founder Amon is my guide for my first taste of CBD coffee. It tastes pretty much like normal coffee. It tastes like great coffee. Caffeine is still there. The CBD is gonna balance it out just a little bit, help with maybe some, some mental clarity, some focus, and then help with just kind of make things a little looser. Okay, so it's gonna kind of take me up and calm me down at the same time. A little bit of that. Strava's CBD coffee is pricey. One of the cheapest bags sells for around $20. The most expensive with eight times more CBD will set you back $54.95. Okay, so Whoa. hold on. It, it, so it tasted like regular coffee, but the big question is how did you feel after you sipped yeah. it? Yeah. Well, the idea is it takes about 20 minutes or so, and it, you have to really make sure you understand it's not Right. I don't think our I don't think our uh, executive producers are, are are confident it's not pot. We were going to try some at the eight o'clock hour. That was the <laughs> right. idea. And then Everybody Jay, was a little felt. concerned how the and broadcast would go. was like, go. let's not. Right. You know, they were not afraid you wouldn't make it to the eight thirty hour. But Gary, you didn't answer Tony's question. You didn't say how it made you feel. Well, it's supposed to make you give you the caffeine high. Right. You really enjoy, but it, you don't get like. Did it give generous. you that? Did you feel better? Did you feel that way? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I love the Barry.